back to the Davis Manor. My name's Brittany and today I thought I would go ahead and do, go ahead, it's been months, um, but I got some stuff from Spirit Halloween when um, they had their end of season clearance sale. But before we hop into all that, I wanted to say thank you to all of you that has stuck around with me um, during the last couple months. I didn't post anything. Um, we had kind of a rough patch there when we lost our dog back in November because um, I wanted to do this haul back then but of course you know life got ahead of me and you know one thing was happening after the next I'm sure you know everybody kind of gets this sort of feeling sometimes a little bit burnt out um, but yeah with the loss of our dog we were just taking things kind of slow through the holidays so but anyway Thank you so much for sticking around. Before we jump into the haul, actually, make sure you have your cup of coffee and or your water, because <laughs> it's gonna be a long one. I'll try to go through as quickly as possible, um, but there's a lot of stuff here. As you saw from the opening intro, me barely making it down the stairs carrying it, so. First things first, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I bought a couple, let me see if I can get back far enough. <laughs> a couple of these fences. Um, I only brought one down, but I think we bought maybe three or four of them. And I know these aren't like the most sturdiest things out there, but um, they're good enough quality for what we're wanting to use them for. Um, Let's see. I got it 50% off. It was originally 30, so I paid 15 for each one. And I think this year we're wanting to do in our haunted house for the Halloween party, um, like a little graveyard scene. We thought this would be perfect for that. So that's why we bought so many. <laughs> Next couple items, we have no idea why we got these, but they were too cute to pass up. We got the vintage witch mask. And all of these were $12.99 originally, so we paid about $6.50 for them. Let's see. The Witch. We got the Vintage Frankenstein. Or Frankenstein's Monster, I guess. The Vintage Devil. And the Vintage Clown. Look how stinking cute he is. I love the colors on him. Like I said, I have no idea what we're doing with those. So <laughs> we just thought for that price, it's always nice to have a bunch of masks. because so we keep them on our skeletons that sit around the dining room table. Throughout the Halloween season, we keep masks on them. They, they don't have masks on them right now because I took them off for Christmas, but Okay, so next, oh, and I found the receipt, nice, so, I mean, I think everything was 50% off, let me just double check, yep, so, yeah, because this year, they did 50% on the first day, it's usually 25%, I think, anyway, that's what I remember, so anyway, I got the receipt in case we need to check any prices. Next up, sorry for the sounds of all the loud bags, but I got two of these. And our idea for these is we wanna switch up our bar in the basement a little bit. And I think we're kinda gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna do body parts. And I think the name of the bar is gonna be called Spare Parts. Um, that's kind of our, I that's kind of our idea, but we haven't done it yet <laughs> so we'll see if it actually gets done but that was kind of our idea it's a spare parts bar and have a bunch of body parts and bones and stuff hanging around i wanted to get a whole bunch of like feet and hands and stuff to like spell out spare parts but that gets expensive and that would probably wouldn't even look good to be honest okay look at this this is, might be, they had a whole bunch of different like animals, but I thought the bunny rabbit was really creepy. And 
I think I might be this next year. I don't, any guesses on what I'm going to be? It's kind of a play on words. Let me know in the comments what you think I'm going to be with this mask. I still haven't decided yet, actually, but there is a good chance this is going to be my costume for one of, probably the adult Halloween party. This was 50 bucks, so I paid 25 Next, I got two spooky bags. They're both crossbody bags. The Killer Clowns from Outer Space was, there's no price on it. It just says, like, nothing. <laughs> I'll have to look at the receipt to find how much that was. But this one was $24.99, so I paid about $12.50 for it. They're not big bags. They're just little, little cute crossbody bags that would be good for, like, the pumpkin patch or something. There's not a whole lot of space, but enough for a phone and a wallet and your keys. <laughs> and maybe some chapstick. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it real quick. Oh, so this one was 20 originally, so I got it for 10. No, it was 25 originally, I got it for 12.50. So that's not too bad. Well, I guess I got some Walmart stuff in this bag too. This is from Walmart, a little spooky sign. And it was 5.24 originally. I don't know how much I paid for that. I didn't realize I put all the Halloween stuff from other stores in here but now that i'm looking i've got tablecloths <laughs> from walmart i got two of these and two of these i can never have enough tablecloths when it comes to halloween i swear i'm always running out and i'm always having to get some last minute at the store so might as well get them while they're on sale and those were I don't know. They don't say for Walmart. I don't reckon. I don't see a price, so. Anyway, sorry, I guess this is a Walmart and Spirit Halloween haul. I didn't get a lot from Walmart. I think that's it, honestly. Oh yeah, one more bag. This one's not a crossbody though. It's, oh my gosh, the glare. It's a little wristlet. Ooh. And it's Michael Myers. It was originally 22 bucks, so I got it for 11. And it's also small. Perfect for a pumpkin patch. <laughs> oh, it's got really cute on the inside. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. There might be more somewhere, but this year for the halfway to Halloween party, I was thinking of a couple different ideas of what I wanted to do. And I think I've stumbled upon what would probably be the best. Last year we had like a Aloha Hawaiian sort of tropical theme. This year, I think I want to do a springtime slash summertime masquerade. I just thought that would be real easy for everybody to get in character and easy for everybody to do. So I bought a whole bunch of these masquerade type masks. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice, I need some water. Look how pretty this one is. I love the gold. It's not my favorite, but this one might be my favorite. I can't even get my eyes in there because I've got my hat on. <laughs> so cute. I don't have to go through all these. I bought like 500 of them. Not literally, but I bought a bunch. So we'll just put those back in the bag. You get the idea. I bought a bunch of those and I've had a bunch of those and you can still get them at like Party City. I'm pretty sure year round. So if I don't have plenty for everyone, I can always go buy a couple more, depending on how many people say they're coming. Next, we've got this Witch Doctor jewelry set. 
It was originally 10 bucks, so I paid five. We got this because for our bar downstairs, we thought it would be kind of cute to put like this necklace over our bartender that sits behind the bar. So he'll be fitting the theme of spare parts. And I've got a mess right here, just ignore all this. Speaking of spare parts, this whole bag <laughs> is full of them. We got legs. We've got arms. We've got hands. And we've got feet. <laughs> and another hand. So um, I'm sure you can guess where these were thought of in our head, where they're going. They're going to go with all my other body parts that I have, if we ever get to it, put around our bar. We actually, you know what, thinking about it, we talked about just removing the bar entirely in our basement. So this might be just a thing of the past. <laughs> these might just have to be used for the haunted house or something. Or put them on our dining room table. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. Okay, next. Ooh, look how stinking cute this is. I love, love, love the Shining. So the Shining Twins, I had to get this when it was on sale. It was $24.99, so 25 bucks originally. Paid $12.50, so not too bad. We need to get that hung up somewhere because I'm obsessed. Okay, let's get to this next. So I have one that's very similar to this, but it's Jason. So this one is Pennywise. It's a mask light. So you can, um, you can mount it on your wall or it comes with a little stand. Like you can kind of see it right there. Oh, I can't, right, right there. Um, it can stand on like a table, like a side table, or you can mount it up on the wall. I just have the other one. Um, it was on a side table. Where did I put it? Oh, I think it's up for the seat. I put it up for Christmas, um, but I need to get that back down because it was so cute and it really puts off a good amount of light. Oh yeah. I see. I like doing a haul like a couple months later because I'm like, yeah, this is cute. I don't remember getting this. So, and a lot of this stuff Drew picked out. So I'm very happy, <laughs> happy wife because he can pick out some awesome stuff. So this is one of the things that he picked out. We have a whole collection of bobbleheads and we did not have a Silence of the Lambs. We don't really have anything from the Silence of the Lambs. So this was a good find for us. It'll fit in quite perfectly with our collection. More with spare parts, we got a little heart. We paid five bucks for. We bought a purge mask. Again, we can't get enough masks around here. We paid, God, we paid $12.50 for this. I mean, it is kind of heavy duty. It's a heavy duty mask, but I can't, I guess masks are expensive, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But $25, I've never paid that for full price. I'm surprised I paid it for half price, but anyway. So for the halfway to Halloween party, this was another idea that I had. This might be a next year type party, um, just so I can give people a good enough heads up um, so that maybe they can go get some discount stuff at Spirit or when um, Spirit Halloween does their half off sale or, or whatever, I don't know. But this might be a next year type thing. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun? Oh, where's that? Wouldn't it be fun? if we did a camp counselor or a camp like attendee or whatever camp whatever what am i trying to say it'd be fun to do like a camp theme we're like maybe one person dresses as jason or maybe we have like 50 jasons i don't know but i thought it would be fun this little hat would and just wear like you know like a white shirt with like the red him around the, like the sides or the neck you know and then some little shorts and some socks up to my knees I just I had it all envisioned but then I thought masquerade would be easier I'm trying not to do too hard of um costume type ideas 
for the halfway to Halloween party. I want it to be more fun, but a theme. So it'll probably get a little more complex as the years go by. Okay, next I bought some live wires. And let's see if I can get it. I thought that would be really cool in the haunted house. I got two of them. They, I wanted to get all of them, but they needed batteries. <laughs> and I'm like, well, like, cause it wasn't, whenever I hit the button, it wasn't working. So I was like, what if they don't work at all? So I just didn't get them, but two is fine. And these were $50 originally a piece. This little thing, this isn't even anything I feel like. That price is outrageous, but we paid 25 each. And that's also probably one of the factors why I did not buy all of them. So there's probably six of them left, maybe more. But anyway, that's just too much. Yeah, see, okay, this one's battery is already dead. Or the little battery pack that comes with or whatever. One thing that my husband is kind of obsessed with this last season was it was the first time he ever saw Halloween 3 and he just thought like the music and the masks and stuff was like really cute really you know just like that vintage sort of look and sound um he really enjoyed it and I, I've seen it before but it's been a long long time so um I was like hey let's watch all the Halloweens and so we did and he was like I don't think I've ever seen the third one so we had to get the mask. We already have the witch mask. And now we've got the pumpkin. Now we have to get the skull. It is a skull, right? I'm not like making that up. Yeah, it's a skull. This one was, oh, this isn't bad. It was originally 20 bucks. So I only paid 10. And it's also a heavy duty mask. Next, I have a couple costume pieces that I picked out. Um, the first one being a black tutu dress. I have some wings that I bought last year. Um, not this last year with this haul, but the year before. Um, they're like oil slick type looking wings. And um, I thought maybe that would be cute to kind of go with this as like some sort of like fallen angel or something like that. So that's why I went with this. And this was originally 30 bucks. So I, I only paid 15. I don't think that's too bad of a deal. Then I got this. Um, I'm planning on losing some weight. So I got something to be a goal to lose some weight too. Gosh, this glare is killing me. Um, it's a Sam hooded dress from the movie Trick or Treat. Um, I think Sam is one of the cutest little characters, so like I, I'd love to be Sam for Halloween. So, um, so this is my weight loss goal is to be able to wear this for, um, Halloween sometime. It was originally 40, so I paid 20, which still isn't terrible. All right, we're running down to the wire here. Just a couple things left. Oh, actually really just one more thing left because we already talked about masks. Last but not least, we got a Michael Myers picture. <laughs> I don't remember why we bought this and it's really, it feels kind of, it's all like, you know, kind of wooden. It feels a little cheap, but we paid nine dollars for this so I guess it's not terrible except it does feel like this thing's about to fall off but at least we can still hang it but anyway so that is my spirit Halloween and mini Walmart haul from the 2023 Halloween season I did get a couple things from Lowe's on clearance not enough to do a haul it was literally the same thing but I bought two of them um, I'll show you I don't even know where it's at right now. It's probably in storage. So I'm sure you'll see it at a later date. It's just um, like a skull lantern and they're like, I don't know, they're like heavy duty. I don't know what they're made of, honestly, off the top of my head. They feel like rocks. They're really heavy. So <laughs> if that tells you anything, um, but I'm sure they're not made out of rocks or cement or, <laughs> but that's what it feels like if you know what I'm talking about. 
anyway, so that's it for today's haul. Um, I did want to talk about one other thing that we did. When my mom came up for Halloween, we, me, my mom, and Drew all went and got matching tattoos, and I wanted to show it to you. We all got like the little vintage vampire tees. How cute. But anyway, that's really all um, the news that I've got for you guys. I know I've been waiting and it's been on my brain to show you this haul for months because we shopped at Spirit on November 1st. Mayberry, our dog, passed away November 8th and I wanted to get that haul out to you so bad, but it just was not a good time. So it's been weighing heavily on me. Like I need to get this out this weekend or this weekend, but it never happened. So finally, here we are. Um, so again, thank you for sticking around with me. And if you're new here, welcome to the Davis Manor. We um, do all things spooky here. As you can see, we pretty much, well, I moved this room around a little bit. This is our witch's lair if you've seen previous videos but I've kind of, I'm in the process of re-decorating it all. So it's not looking too spooky right now, but we keep things spooky year round regardless. So but leave me a comment. Let me know which item was your favorite. And also I want your guesses on what my bunny rabbit mask is going to be for this year. Thanks again for watching and sticking around and I'll see you all next time.